welcome to another episode of Brackets Academy. Today we're going to be creating a portfolio website template. So what I've done is I've gotten some Google fonts and I've linked up our script and our style documents and we are ready to go. Let's just, yeah, I started off by making the body, did this little font size trick. Now every EM, so one EM, is equal to 10 pixels. I also set the default color, default font, and I got rid of the margin and padding. Moving on, let's go ahead and start creating this. So this is going to be the first of many in this series, and hopefully it turns out well. I want to make a playlist for this, and we can just keep chugging through and making this. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to make a header for the website, and it's going to be uh, like half of the page, maybe. We'll see how it goes. It's going to be the hero image. Well, actually, we can just do this in the head. Let's also put in a title of port portfolio. And then we'll also have a div for the like a subtitle. And in here, we're just going to write all the things that you might do that you want to show people in your portfolio. So maybe you're an artist and you just kind of describe yourself in three different ways. Maybe you're a designer. Hope I'm spelling this stuff right. Or maybe you're, maybe you're a YouTuber. All right. Okay, now we have all that. Let's go into our CSS and create the head. We're going to have a height of 60% width 100. Let's go ahead and add that background. And we have a folder here. Let's actually rename this to hero.jpg. Right. Oops. URL inside of the images folder. Grab that image. All right. Then we're just gonna define some stuff. We don't want it to repeat. We want it to be center. Center. Let's also make sure that we are covering the whole page. Or at least that area. Alright, this looks good. And we have this up here. So let's go ahead and start working with those. We will give it a font size of 5EM, which is 50 pixels in this case. Give it a color of white. We're going to make it bold. And we'll do the other font that I have, which is Ubuntu. Which I can't spell for my life. Okay, we have that now. Let's also give it some text shadow. Uh, we'll do... We'll just do a light... Or a semi-transparent gray. Or black, sorry. Let's see if that worked. Yeah, now we have a nice little shadow. Let's also make our text line center. Okay, now let's do the subheading or subtitle. Give it like a light, lighter, not well, less white color. Uh, we'll make it 14 pixels. We'll give it a small text shadow, I guess. Pretty. One, two, three. Oops. Make this a little lighter, too. And let's also... Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Let's go ahead and... What do I want to do here? That color... 
Let's put a shadow in the background. And this is just gonna make the image darker. Well, actually, I think we can use filter on the picture. We'll change the brightness to 50%. And then we'll copy this, and we will do a WebKit filter. There we go. Except it covers it. Darn it. Darn it. Okay, then let's... I think we can turn the brightness back up. By doing this, maybe? We'll see. No, do I have to do... 150? No, alright, that doesn't work. Okay, plan B. Delete this. Delete this. And delete this. We're just gonna make a shadow. Or shade. Height 100. Width 100. Then we'll do background. Let's do the transparent black again. Let's actually set this to 0.7. And then let's put all this stuff in the shade. Right there we go. That's better. I think it's a little too dark though. So let's turn this down to five actually. Yep, that's pretty good. I want to make the body background a different color. All right, this is like a grayish color. Yeah. All right, and let's also give the header a box shadow. I know we have a little shadow on our header, so it looks like it's floating. And we need to push this down more. So let's do that also. We'll just do a padding top of like 10%. We'll take that away so it's still the same height. Oops. Oh. Right. Why did I open you? Okay. We want to actually change this back. We want to put this in the actual shade. And we'll change this to 90. Now we should get the effect that we want. Or not, we won't at all. Okay. Why did I do that? Hmm. Okay. Now the one problem I am noticing with this is if you're on a small device, then it might crunch like this. That's okay. That's okay. We won't worry about that right now. Let's let's do this really quick. Well, here we can copy it. We'll also make it all uppercase, and then let's figure out why this is doing this. I'm only adding ten to the top, so we shouldn't have to go any further. I wonder why. Why is that happening? That's random. It just makes no sense to me. Oh. Is that because... What? What? It wants to be 65. I don't know why. That's just the magic number. No, it doesn't even... didn't even do it. Wait. There's still space here. And as I expand, it gets bigger and bigger. Okay, now why would it do that? That's... Curious. Let's set this back to 100%, and let's just try this with margin. Let's actually set this to position absolute, just so that it doesn't affect any of the other stuff. Then let's add the margin top of 10%. need to give this a position of relative. There we go. Now the shadow is contained and we have this in the somewhat center of everything. Also, I want to do more with the subtitle. Let's make this a little bit brighter. 
I feel like we should space things out a little bit more. Let's add letter spacing of 0.4. Yeah. Um, that's a little too much. Let's do like 0.1. Point two, maybe. Oops. Get my mouse. Okay. Let's see what happened. That's pretty good. And also, let's go ahead and make this bold. Why not? There we go. That's pretty nice, I think. So, yeah, this is gonna be the end for episode one. We created our header. And next, we'll start creating our content down here. So I'll catch you guys next time. Just click that next button on your playlist, and we will continue creating this website. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.